morning. Welcome to day 10 of our Disney World holiday. This morning is a bit of a mixed emotion morning. Well, this one's got his sunglasses on inside. Oh. <laughs> um, because we're checking out of Walt Disney World. We're just doing the final packing, making sure that we can fit everything in. Making sure we have everything. Making sure we have everything, more importantly. Yeah, uh, lots of stuff on this trip already. <laughs> yeah, we have. Um, yeah, trainers. How? How? Anyway, um, so we're going to go check out, leave all of our stuff with Bell Services because we're going to go spend the morning in Magic Kingdom before we head off to Universal. It's a really weird feeling because it almost feels like our holiday's over because like the first big chunk of it is, but we've still got five days, four nights at Universal. It's just because we the pet. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, exactly. So, yay, not home time. No, exactly, and really looking forward to going to Universal. It's going to be a little bit of a different kind of experience and holiday. So, yeah, let's get going. Let's uh, go enjoy our last morning at Magic Kingdom. Let's do it. Bye, room. It's been a good room. No, good, thank you. Look at him, making sure we've got everything. Good morning from the Magic Kingdom. Morning. We are here. It is almost quarter to ten, the park opened at nine, there's a lot of people walking in, but wait times really don't seem too bad, do they? No, but I think everyone's just walking in now, annoyingly, for us, so we were thinking, yeah, maybe it's going to be a quiet, ah, quiet morning because it's mo Mother's Day here. Yeah, it's Mother's Day in America today. I don't know why, you, as a mother, you would want to take your children to, I know it's a magical place, it's but a magical place. not very relaxing. No, true. Very I true. know it'd be my mum's first. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I think well, it would be quite. Yeah, the worst nightmare. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I reckon I'd quite enjoy it. Yeah, but that's because you're most a Disney fan. True. Anyway. A lot, of, a lot of these mums, I would imagine, take it like go to come to Disney for their children. Yeah. Anyway, we are here, and we are gonna go and get some breakfast. First. We're going to go and try Gaston's Tavern. Uh, we've neither of us been there. We haven't been there this trip. And they do warm cinnamon buns. And we are. Hopefully, it's as good as one made in the hotel. Oh, yeah, that was good. Um, and we are intrigued to try a Lefou's brew. Lefou's Le 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 brew. With um, tossed marshmallows. <laughs> toasted marshmallows. Minor. Minor. Uh, oversight on my part. We've got three fast passes. We've got Space, we've got Enchanted Tales with Belle, and we've got Big Thunder Mountain, all before Liberty Tree Tavern Reservation at it's one o'clock today. It's one o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. It seems to be all like thanksgiving -y style, and we thought since it's a Sunday, we're very British, we were like, that's quite close to a roast. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. That literally was our logic I, behind I, I it. I now think it probably be similar to Garden Grill, in terms of... Yeah. Yeah, That's I agree. So if it is similar to Garden Grill, I'll be happy. Yes. We've got a couple of uh, dining credits left, so that's worked perfectly. We have got one left over quick service dining, but that can be converted into three snacks. So we're going to do that at our hotel. There's loads of yeah, like we've packaged got a sweets. Of sweets, aren't we? That we're going to take through Universal. Yeah, like um, you know, like sour laces and things like that. And we thought that'll save us some pennies at Universal, where we'll no longer have our magic bands just to tap and not spend any money, but get stuff. <laughs> <laughs> gonna miss that. Gonna actually have to start paying for things like properly whole different world right yeah we are because we're heading towards new fantasy land aren't we and it's we around there very warm this morning already yeah we'll try to sweat <laughs> the heat actually has gone up by about five degrees on our first day it was about 28 we hit 33 34 yesterday uh, yeah yesterday was a tough one for the heat that's yeah. why we had to get out and once we realised Animal Kingdom was just going to remain busy, we thought, let's chill out, go to, go to the Animal Kingdom Lodge, have that check out there. Yeah. Can't, that worked out really well for us, didn't it? it we got a, we got a room tour. Yeah, can't recommend, like, resort hopping and exploring resorts enough. So much to see and do. I was going to say, we've seen the Grand Floridian, which is probably a little bit out of most people's price range, including yeah. ours. Yes. Um, the Contemporary. Yeah, Polynesian. Polynesian. Obviously, yeah. Pauline's Riverside, Pauline's French Quarter. We had went and had a look around. Wilderness Lodge. Wilderness Lodge, Animal Kingdom Lodge. 
I think they were all of the main ones. And then we've walked been... past like Swan and Dolphin. Oh yeah. So we've looked at the resort areas. Oh, we walked through um, the Yacht Club as well. Oh, yes, we did. So actually, we've, in a roundabout way, seen quite a lot of them. Which is excellent because it means that I've planted the seed in this one's mind of oh, look how amazing these resorts are. <laughs> so many places to stay, why don't we stay here? Exactly, so then it's like a different holiday every time. Yeah, I think it would be as well. Yeah, it really would. Yeah. A little bit of Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, which actually has only, and I say only, you know, Disney perspective here. It's only got a 60 minute wait. You're going to 60 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad though. It's not too bad. I wouldn't queue it, but. No. I know, I'm ready. No. Right, we are here at the Who's Group. Oh, is that the queue? Whoa. This it's is only just open though. Well, how do you know? It's been right, 20, minutes. 20 minutes ago, but this is clearly a popular spot for breakfast. <laughs> just a light breakfast snack. What you got? The Who's Group. Good. I'm trying to work out the flavor. Some like cinnamon. It's apple and then there is some like passion fruit in there with some toasted marshmallows. It's nice. And then just a smaller, let's see, see the size in comparison to like your hand. Yeah, that's like a loaf of bread. <laughs> yeah, it's a good half a loaf right there. Both one snack credit each. Good use of snack credits. Again? How much, how much was this? Um, the Lafou's brew, I think, was five sixty-nine, five uh, something like that, and then this was five twenty-nine, I think. I don't think that's too bad, though. Use this for breakfast. You didn't have to pay. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. This is probably the largest breakfast snack I've seen. Definitely. That looks so good. Should we eat? Yeah. That cinnamon roll. And the Lafouze brew was so good. So good. So worth the snack credits. And you know, I like, really like the theming. Mm. Um, it's not the biggest area in there, is it? So. No, it's not the biggest seating area. And then look who's out. A little bit of Gaston in the morning. This trip was the first trip since I was little that I've actually done like base characters, if that makes sense. So ones who can talk back. And um, loved meeting the Little Mermaid. Who else did we meet? Oh, Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. Loved meeting them. Yeah, Gaston is sort of like next level. Yeah, I think he, he would probably hit on you a little bit. Do you reckon? Yeah, just because. Just because? <laughs> just because he's Gaston. Oh, what's Witch's Frozen Brew? What one's that? Minute Maid Lemonade. You do that, that's all you can take right back. Oh. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not a. Uh, oh, that's not a um, snack credit because that sounds really nice. If that was a snack credit, what is they? Although, but look, you can have um, frozen Coke with either red apple, or vanilla. Oh, look, you could get a vanilla frozen Coke here. Ooh. So maybe a choice for later. Maybe we could get one of those instead of getting a Starbucks on the way out. Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, I like that. There we go. Keep a little lookout for all of like the little individual carts. If they all do something different. They all it? do so many different things. They had like a mermaid donut there as well. So definitely keep an eye out. Try loads of different places. Uh, see what you fancy. I guess we're heading towards Space Mountain now. Yeah, we well, have... kind of. Just have a breakfast. Not really. Meet the mermaid 15 minutes. Yeah. We've already done that. Let's have a look at wait time. See if there's anything a bit more gentle while we let our food go down. <laughs> we have decided, because it's only a 10 minute wait, we're going to go meet uh, Goofy and Johnny. We did Pluto and Daisy the other day. So, oh yeah. So we better go get them a visit. Have a look. Fun this way. Yep. See how long the queue actually is. Enter if you dare. Oh, I'd say that's probably about 10 minutes. It's really nice and cool in here actually as well. So let's get out of the heat. Yeah, so let's get out of the heat and meet some characters. What are we doing, Bubba Love? We're gonna go meet Goofy and Donald. 
as the amazing Ronaldo. Oh, and yes, and the great, great Goofini. Not the best well, thing. I'm going to call it a cinnamon loaf. Because they're, yeah, they're, they're basically a loaf of bread. Yeah, I agree. Uh, probably not the best thing to eat and then straight away go and see Space Mountain. Yeah. So we'll let you digest in the cool, meet the characters. And we saw the other two the other day, uh, but we didn't see this side. Yeah. And Donald's already telling people he's number one. He likes to tell everyone he's number one. He just had the best meet and greet with Donald Duck um, yeah the great Donaldo he was so funny so I, yeah, I can't recommend enough going to see Donald uh, we had a little boomerang with him cheeky little boomerang actually I'll try and insert it here actually because we didn't film we just decided to take some pictures um, and enjoy have a little bit of catch up with Donald for our Space Mountain Park Mars that ends in about five minutes so we're about to head on over there now we're literally just drive by it and then I really want to go on the People Mover again absolutely love the People Mover it's like the best ride um, but it's not the best ride but I just love sitting and looking out over all of the um, the Magic Kingdom always back <laughs> Should we go Red Space Mountain? Let's do it. And shotgun the front. It is my turn. It is your turn. I've seen a couple of vlogs where people do it and it involves crowd participation. I'm hoping this one gets picked. Yeah. I think it <laughs> your moment of fame, dear. Yeah. Hello, look. Hello, look. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, we just gotta find it now. We yeah. seem to be walking against the traffic. <laughs> yeah. This mirror was a gift from the Beast to Maurice. That way he could visit Princess Belle anytime he wanted, and I know the perfect time that we should visit. Can you guys repeat after me? Take me back to the day Belle and Beast fell in love. Take, Take me back to the day Belle and Beast fell in love. love. <laughs> but it's two uh, adults. <laughs> yeah, two adults who haven't really? yeah, who haven't got any children here. Um yeah, it's two adults who haven't got any children with them at the park. There was a lot of just sitting watching children go up and have their photo taken and meeting Belle, which, you know, it, it's lovely to see how much they enjoy it, but I don't really class that as an attraction. <laughs> 
so uh, but you know it was cute to see all the kids loved it maybe i'm just a bit jealous i didn't get a pic yeah, yeah we didn't get a pic oh yeah well because you want to be a suits and armor yeah. um so yeah glad i've experienced thank you glad we've experienced it probably not going to go on the list of things to do again thank you no not unless we have children yeah that's true and then i'd be all over that like don't get me wrong i'd be completely all over that be like child go you're you're on the show now go <laughs> Yeah. But I'm glad we tried it. Yeah. And we've done so many other rides here that actually I think it was fair to do it fast pass for that. Yeah. yeah, that's why we did it, wasn't it? It was yeah. one of the only things we hadn't fast pass, so. Exactly. So did give it a go. Yes. So glad we did, but yeah, not one to do it again. Uh, I think, should we go get a frozen vanilla Coke? Yes, let's do it. You've only had like one vanilla oh it's a, it was a vanilla vanilla cherry coke as well wasn't it you only had one this whole holiday like this boy gets through like man man right <laughs> this one <laughs> all right this one literally gets through i don't know how many bottles a day uh, well, i don't have to say, have to say. Yeah, okay have to yeah well all right well let's just say that every but, week but there's at least you, four bottles in our shop <laughs> I'm willing to be a guinea pig. <laughs> yeah, he's like your number one uh, <laughs> drinker. Um, so I think it's time that he had a little bit of a vanilla Coke fix because, yeah, biggest fan over here. And I'm surprised you've actually lasted this long without it. True. In all fairness, we haven't really had the one I normally drink here. No. Also, we've not really wanted too much fizz. When it's really hot, it's like water yeah. and slushies. Not really been craving yeah, like a coke or anything. Slush? Slush, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, but the slushes are different. The slushes are so good. Like so many of our snack credits have been spent on slushes, just because they're so refreshing. Um, yeah, it was just over here on the right, wasn't it? And then it's time to ride Big Thunder Mountain. Yay. I don't see what we can get fast fast wires. Well, I actually think about it. I don't oh, think we will because I just realised it's 20 past 12. Oh, yeah, we've got lunch at one. Oh, we've got lunch at one. Ah, oh, yeah, we probably need to get a bit of a job on, don't we? <laughs> we do. There's us just like wandering around like we've got all the time in the world, but actually we don't. Right, let's get this drink, go on Big Thunder Mountain, and then it will literally be straight to lunch. If you want, you can get a pickle on snack credit. Is that a thing here that people just eat pickles? Look who it is! <laughs> oh, it's sorry. Grandpa. Literally love just wandering around Fancyland and seeing the characters take us proper like bouncing around like that. I have a good early. I think someone's excited to be going and having a rest. Going for a bouncing lesson, whatever. Was that them going for a rest or that them coming out? No, that's them going away. Sunshine Tree Terrace. If you can use mobile order, I'm not sure that you can, but if you can, do it. That's always got a line. Yeah. It's because it's well, where dull are. Have yeah, that's true. I can't recommend. Uh, so I'm just like gobsmacked because it's saying that the Swiss Family Robinson has a 45 minute wait. I think that someone spun the uh, thing around. I've never seen that have a queue. And people are like walking straight on. I was like, whoa, the park really isn't that busy. But anyway, mobile order. If there is the option to do it, do it. It saves so much time. Just remember to click. I'm here once you get to the place, otherwise no nobody's going to make your food. Nope, and you'll be sitting there for a long time. <laughs> time for Big Thunder Mountain, and then lunch. Lunch is literally in half an hour, I don't know where the day's gone. We think this is the final ride at Disney World. Yeah, um, this, and then lunch, and then we're going to see if we get enough fast pass, but I don't think we will. But if it's not, Big Thunder for the last ride at the back.
across to our dining reservation. We had to wait a couple of minutes, not a problem, but it's literally just started absolutely chucking it down with rain outside. And it wasn't actually forecast to rain today. I didn't see anything, I don't think. I think I saw something, but it's been forecast to rain for the last four days. We haven't seen anything, so. Yeah. Yeah, we, we take the weather guides with a pinch of salt anyway. I, I think it's just because it's going to rain somewhere in Florida or central yeah. Florida. So, because it's such a big place, it's, it could just be a pocket of rain somewhere. They're not wrong, it's, we've managed to miss it. So, we're in Liberty Tree Tavern. We can sort of see out the window. We're not quite at the window, but we can see it's absolutely chucking it down. Um, we are using our last uh, table service credit in here. Uh, to have quite a big lunch because we're not planning on having anything massive at Universal later, just like a snack. And then we have managed to, we thought the Big Thunder Mountain was going to be our last fast pass, but I've managed to get us a Peter Pan one. I literally was like, refresh, 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 and one came up. It's so, it's so the excitement in her face was so funny. So, I love the Peter Pan. one minute we were meeting Tinkerbell, and then two seconds later, <laughs> yes, so yeah, Dean's let me choose the last ride and the fast pass was there. You can't turn down yeah, a Peter yeah, Pan fast pass. I don't think Splash Mountain would have been much fun in this either. Yeah, no, that was our other choice. So inside what ride for the win when the weather's like this. We've just finished lunch at Liberty Tree Tavern, which is right behind us. Yeah. Oh, 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 we're not yeah. meant to be here. They're getting ready for the, uh, we're parade. not meant to be here, so yeah, they're already getting ready for the parade. Yeah, my bad. I guess the parade starts here, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it starts back there. Woo, they start early. Anyway, Liberty Tree Tavern was good. Very good. Their dessert, ooey gooey toffee pudding. pudding. Oh. Wow. What is that? Yeah. Although we decided it's not the best use for dining credits because it's actually but because it's all we we care to eat and the drinks included. Yeah. It's over like thirty eight dollars each. Yeah. And that's by far the cheapest meal we've had, isn't it? It's yeah. This week. Yeah, literally by about thirty dollars. So if you're not here on the dining plan really recommend because it's really good value for money if you are here on the dining plan probably wouldn't recommend just yeah. because you're not unless you've like had lots of expensive meals like we have this week in which case go for it yeah. probably that's what you want yeah and like us it was sunday fancy the roast yes exactly because we are brits but i guess at the end of the day go for whatever food you fancy but if you are wanting to be a little bit more conscious of making the, making the most of that dining plan that one's not the place to go especially if you paid for it don't do it basically yeah we got our dining plan included for free as part of our virgin holidays obviously we say free because I'm sure they built the price in to an extent somewhere but yeah so we weren't so worried about that kind of thing we're now gonna well, I guess it forces you into a deluxe or moderate with an upgrade, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. that's, that's where they get the money. You can't get it if you start one of the value resorts. No, not for free. Yeah, you're right there, actually. So we had to upgrade us, didn't we? So we had the quick service included. Yeah. We paid the extra like £200, 200 pounds pounds. or something. So we've definitely got our money's worth for the upgrade. Yes, definitely. But that's where Disney make their money. They force you into purchasing a bit of hotel room. Basically. Yeah, that's true, actually. I've not thought about it that way. Yeah, I totally forgot that we'd uh, paid the update. We've been there for so long ago. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, a year. A year in the making. <laughs> but saying that, I think I've absolutely loved the table service, uh, like dining that we've had. But there are also so many great quick service options. Yeah, even even when you get like, the regular burger and chips, and I say regular, because they're actually all really good. I've never, I've not had anything been like, oh, it's like an old, old style bun with a little, just a meat patty thrown in. Yeah, no, not at all. has been really good. Yeah, we've literally said that we have had some amazing food here. Can't complain about any of the food like, at all. So we're heading over to Storybook Circus because we want to get three snack credits with our last remaining snack credits that we've got. So we need some rice cookie cakes, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We have them at Universal. And then we're heading back on this ride because I still can't believe that we've got a fast pass. So Peter Pan is going to be the last ride of the trip in Disney. I love that. 
It was the last ride of my trip in um, Disneyland Paris when I was there with Dad a couple of years ago. Oh, was it? Yeah. They obviously we couldn't ride it, could we? Yeah, it was I closed. Know, it was well, I'm sure it may have been. Yeah, probably, to be fair. I just love it. Such a good ride. So, that's what we're going to do. We'll probably see you again. Maybe a little bit back at the resort. But then, more, more than likely, when we check into at, Universal. At the new resort. Yes. Universal. Might do a quick pan out as we leave, but to be honest, the, par the parade's going to be on. It's all, I think, going to get a bit hectic. So, we'll probably. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit of time. But, uh, yeah. On to our next exciting adventure. Indeed, indeed. So we will see you soon. Aloha. Aloha. We have arrived at Lowe's Royal Pacific. First impressions, amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a top quality hotel. You can see why people were like, great choice of place to come and stay. Everyone, yeah, we're going to, yeah, we're going to. Um, everyone has been really friendly. Uh, we have had a slight issue though. And the slight issue is that we booked a King water view room. Yep. And uh, when we were going to check in, they were like, oh, we've got a queen room. And we're like, mm, we didn't pay for that. Because I think it was actually extra to pay yeah, for the king view room. King. Otherwise, you know, we, we wouldn't care. Um, they were like, oh, let, let's check that. Basically, the room that we were booked in to stay into has had to be taken out of service because it's got a leak. So they've put us in another room tonight and they're gonna be moving us over tomorrow. Um, slight inconvenience, however, they, they can were- do, They can do all the hard work for us, just means we can't unpack. Yeah, which- So just right. time for today. Exactly, exactly. So we're here for a night, we thought we'd show you the room. We're on the fifth floor, but you walk in and oh my God, the first thing that you see is the view, which is so cool. We're hoping, we have asked like really nicely if it would be okay to have like a high up room with a theme park or lagoon type view tomorrow. And I think they're hopefully gonna be quite accommodating in that as we have been really good and just been like, okay, that's fine. Otherwise, I don't wanna move rooms because yeah, yeah it, this view is so cool. So we will show you around this room and then we'll like compare it slightly tomorrow. So as you walk in, this is our room at the so Lowe's Royal Pacific, fifth floor. You can't really see out of that window yet, so we will head there in a minute. First thing, you've got, hello, <laughs> you've got the bathroom. It's got one sink, like the biggest mirror ever. And then we have a nice bathroom. It similar, all, similar bath to Disney. Yeah, it's similar like set up to Disney, um, obviously. Toilet. The decor is like. This decor is really nice, yeah, actually, isn't one, it? One up. Yeah, I think this bathroom's bigger. Yeah, nice <laughs> toilet roll. This one's little moan about Disney was that their toilet paper was very so thin. So thin. Um, then, as I say, yeah, we've got a little. Let, let's look for the deluxe hotels, in which case you're. The, the toilet, toilet paper was nicer, wasn't it? Another thing that uh, the deluxe had better. So yeah, we've got like sink area. Then we have the Do main. Oh yeah, let's have a look. Ooh, this is big. This is where Katie will be sleeping when she's been bad. <laughs> Charming. Um, yeah, we've got safe. Uh, that yeah. safe looks massive, actually. Oh, is it? It's a really thin. Yeah, but it's thin but tall, so I could at least like stand my laptop up in there. Um, maybe. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's double the size of Disney in terms of height, so it's bend it. Yeah. Then this is the room, like the theming is really nice. We're just trying to see if we can get some yeah. lights because it isn't actually this blip. Oh, that's that light. Oh, no. Is it not there? No. Where's the main light? There isn't a main light, I guess, because it's there... the them lights. I know, but there must be like a... No, no, because there's no lights in the ceiling. Oh, okay. So, anyway, this is... Oh, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, this is uh, the double queen yeah, size. Oh, that's better. Double queen size room at the moment. This room is huge, though. Feels really big. You've got a massive TV. What else have we got? Another huge mirror. Seating mm. area, which is nice. Nice artwork. Another little seating area. And then you have our view. Now, 
I don't know how much really you can pick up on. Down here we've got the lagoon Entrance lake. The, where the boats drive to the theme park. Yep, because the theme park entrance is and over our, there. And, walkway. and then yeah, there's the walkway as well. But I don't know how much you can see, but what I'm zooming in on it, so I think there's gonna be a massive storm here in a minute because it's got super windy. I don't know, it's breaking over here though. Is it? Yeah, but I hope it's just passing. The two peaks over on the right, the green oh, things somebody's gonna happen. are the Hulk roller coaster, which is amazing. And on the left you've yeah, got you going up and down. Yeah, you can see something up and down. That's um Doctor Doom's Doctor fearful. Doom's fearful. Then we can also see the top of Hogwarts, but I can't like oh actually no, it's over there. So there, oh, I don't think, I don't know if it's going to focus, but there you can, oh, it's trying really hard. It's because it's like, there's glass in the way, I can't do it. Um, but yeah, this, this little, that's there. There, but yeah, that's <laughs> the top of Hogwarts. So we have a pretty cool view. Yeah, the only thing at the top of this is they put us up two floors tomorrow on yeah. the same side. Yeah, that would be amazing. With a big double, with a big king size bed. So all in all, very happy with our um, yeah room and the service that we've had so far. And you oh, can see you spotted the something else as well. Can oh yeah, you can. Mm. And then oh look down there, we've got yeah, we've fancy got water, taxi water taxi. Um, so overall, we are really happy with the room and I am impressed with this resort it's very very nice it is and the overall service everything's been really good yes we've had a minor hip up, hiccup but you know what they, they were, were really nice about really it they nice weren't they it. didn't turn around and go oh like this is your room and just try to palm it off as our room yeah oh yeah. oh our phone is ringing <laughs> see what that is hello and that's our luggage on its way and they were just checking to make sure that we were in the room i'm really impressed with the customer service here as you say like we could have got really moany about it but you know what? what's the point there's nothing they can do i'd rather we, we both said that we'd rather that yeah they've taken the room out of service and you know we don't find a leak or, or yeah. you know find a smell or whatever the problem is so actually it's fine and they're being good about it but i'm also hoping that because we've been so good that they might give us the best room they've got yeah hopefully like the lady was really nice and she was really appreciative of how i was surprised nice how nice we were she was. yeah because we didn't really do anything that was we uh, were just like oh okay i i, I it, maybe she was like really nervous to have to tell us i don't know but anyway we are happy we are gonna get sorted here and then we are gonna go out we've got two hours until we see the blue yeah. man group Hang we need on. to go downstairs and sort out our tickets, our tickets we actually link them, to these. link them to our room keys so Which we're gonna go to our express passes as well we're gonna go do all of the boring admin bits and then let you know what we get up to later so we'll see you in a bit update <laughs> someone's just gone to use the bathroom the flush doesn't work mm. Well, it flushed once, didn't it? Well, basically the tank doesn't fill up high enough with water for it to actually work, so yeah. It's been like making a hissing noise for about the last 15 minutes and no water's filling up and it won't flush. So, we've got to go and talk to reception again now. I was, we will stay happy, we will stay positive, but... Get me on that ride. This is annoying. Get me on that ride. <laughs> yeah. We have picked up our Blue Man Group tickets we have come into, is this Universal Studios is the one that we've come into? So we were going to go into Islands of Adventure and I think probably do the Hulk ride first, but Blue Man Group is literally right next door to Universal Studios. And because we've only got about 40 minutes to play with, it doesn't make sense to go into the other park. So we will make sure that we do that first thing tomorrow morning. Dean's just having a little look at the map. Um, we've been checking wait times here today. It is so much quieter here than at Disney. It's insane, isn't it? It is. Like, I mean, the Minion ride, which is usually a really, really popular ride, has only got a 25 minute wait, which is nothing really. I mean, we've come from like hour, two hour for some of the most popular attractions. Oh, I know, <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> I know Dean is properly wanting to go on Rip Rocket Falls. Uh, Rip Ride Rocket. Rip Ride Rockets are emerging rides. Rip Ride Rocket. I just don't know if I can face it right now. I think I will go on it. It's just 
I hate that straight up looking up. I really do. So I think he might have to ease me in. Can we go in the mummy? Yeah, let's go on the mummy. Let's go to the mummy. That yeah. was a good one she recommended, wasn't it? She had earlier. Yeah, it's really... Who was it? It was someone at Disney, the lady in uh, Liberty Tree Tavern. We've had loads of Disney people recommending Universal, saying how much they love Universal and vice versa. I guess wherever you work, you like the opposite while liking your one as well. Yeah, we've got express passes here, so we don't have to worry about wait times or anything. It's going to be a good few days once we sort our room out. Fingers crossed for a fixed toilet, otherwise who knows what we're going to be doing when we get back to the hotel after the Blue Man Group. Watch this space! It's fine, we're on holiday. Just, just enjoy my dog here. <laughs> Scary. Your main issue isn't just going straight up. Right? That's uh, my issue. Other than that, you'd quite happy to go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just... I'm not sure the last time that we actually vlogged. It's been a little bit of a mismatch, mishmash, eat an afternoon just with the. It might have been, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, we're a little bit frazzled with <laughs> it. It's been a long day, the room issue, um, and yeah, with the means we didn't get to go into the park. We've got two rides on there, we've got two rides in 20 minutes, so good. You can't complain. No, um, and the mummy was really, really good. Scary, really scary. But we've just been to Blue Man Group, what did you think? Really, really good. I didn't really know what to expect, I'm not really seeing much more than the, with the paint. Yeah. So I was quite pleasantly surprised, but it was quite comedic. Yeah. It's funny, it's like, really it's funny. It's a genuinely laughed out loud moment, so... Yeah, it was good, it's a really good night out. We actually booked Odyssey Virgin because it worked out so much cheaper. I don't know why, but it worked out like, I don't know, 20 dollars cheaper yes. for similar seats because we compared the two. But yes, it was a really, really good show. We're now just having a little bit of a walk around City Walk before heading back to the hotel and seeing what the issue is with our toilet. <laughs> See, Fingers crossed it's all done. Fingers crossed it's all sorted. Um, we won't be unpacking tonight obviously because we are moving to our new room tomorrow. Um, but Universal are sorting all of that out for us. We literally just have to go back to the front desk. Yeah, we just, we just hold on to unpack. Yeah. And I'll move all our bags. They won't be getting a second tip. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, well, the, yeah, the, they'll already be in the room. We won't know who's delivered them. Yeah. Um, but I have just spotted frozen yogurt. Pro yogurt. And we had a massive lunch, but all we've had is popcorn tonight. And I fancy a teeny tiny snack. And surely this has got to be pretty healthy, right? Relatively. So, oh, can you smell that? It's got the donut. Oh, is that the donut? Mm, we're is right. This one's for Voodoo Dust. I don't really feel for me. That's like. They smell yeah. amazing. They smell the donuts from here. It's only next door. Okay, well, we'll, just just go this, we'll go check it out while we're here. But um, I think I'm going to have to throw you. Yes, that's right. But look, low fat. Thank you very much. We're all low fat to the yogurt rather than ice cream. Well, they're sorbet. <laughs> Not one anymore. Original part. <laughs> what do you call me? <laughs> Vanilla snow. I've heard. Call it John's snow. Now you gotta pick your toppings, in you? What are you going for? I don't know. Mini M&M's. Once I got peanut butter in it, probably not. You got peanut? Right, we got all these bad boys. Come on, I've got a mini M&M's uh, over there. Is there any toppings that you have? Uh, um, all good with anything. Oh, this goes. Come on down. Okay, hundreds and thousands. You don't weigh very much. Sorry? You don't weigh very much. Don't? Weigh very much. Yeah, 
Oh man, she loved me. And really wanted me to have some as well. <laughs> Just a fun thing. Okay, I'm happy now. Hershey's do caramel. Mm. Caramel goodness. Right, so how much was it? This came to four dollars fifty. Which in which fairness. I put quite a lot in there. Yeah, they didn't really, we didn't really look at, they don't really like, publish the weight per gram, do they? Cost per gram, no. But oh yeah, cost per gram, I just said weight per, weight per gram is a gram. As you do? No, I don't really want to show it on the screen either. <laughs> Good. Stairs, stairs, there are stairs. You didn't know, and you're only just watching this vlog, and you haven't seen any of the previous from this holiday. Katie decided to fall down some stairs because she wasn't paying attention to what she was doing and nearly caused herself some serious damage. She had a very black toe for all of a day, so, in all fairness, she healed pretty quickly. A magical healing power. So, this is voodoo donuts. This is like the world famous voodoo donuts. Oh, they do ones that have got, um... Look at the size of them! They do ones that have fruit loops on them. Oh, look at the size of them! Now, watch! That picture, regular size donut, double the depth. I'm just going to enjoy this. You're sharing? I don't want it. Yeah, but then you had a caramel and it changed everything. <laughs> Just uh, Katie getting a picture for the Instagram of Paul of the waterfront view of City Walk. It's really cool, here. It is really impressive. And this is the Chocolate Emporium, which we might decide to go to because it looks amazing. It looks like a proper factory. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? And then it's obviously nice. you got the Hard Rock Cafe next door, which looks like the Coliseum. Yeah, it's really impressive. Here. Just a bit loud for Katie's liking. No, it's fine. Mm. It's just a bit different. To mm. It's not, not not as chilled out as Disney is of a yeah. night time. No, like it's not the reverse of Disney. It's probably chilled out during the day and yeah, loud. It's just much more like clubby and bars, like in certain areas of here, and it's just not really my thing. But I like the shops here. I like the Froyo. Like some of these. That Froyo was good. I, didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't supposed to have any, but the minute caramel was involved, I couldn't say no. Um, yeah, like the restaurants look really cool. So it's, it's cool, it's just different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I miss my Disney bubble.